The Beggin family's abandoned farmhouse stands as a testament to the enduring love of Gilbert and Camille, who met in high school as teenagers and remained inseparable ever since. Gilbert and Camille dreamed of building a life together on the family farm, where Gilbert would follow in his father's footsteps and pursue his lifelong passion for farming. Their dream of building a life together on the farm came true, and they were blessed with two beautiful daughters, whom they raised with love and care on the sprawling lands of their home. However, tragedy struck the family when Gilbert began to suffer from medical problems due to overwork. He eventually became unable to work and passed away shortly after. This left Camille in dire financial circumstances, but she managed to raise the children and live in the house until her own passing in 2000. Time has taken its toll on the Biggin family home, and the children no longer dare to enter its crumbling walls. But we will take this risk one last time and bring their story to life. Welcome back everybody to the Bros of DK, I'm Leslie. Today behind the camera, yet again, Danny. Danny. Thank you so much, man. You're welcome. Like you can hear, we are both still yeah. sick. My nose is blocked, but I can't just stop exploring. <laughs> <laughs> and we have another incredible abandoned place for you all. And for the first time ever in the United States, let me go down carefully. First time ever in the United States, we're filming a house of a farmer, an abandoned house of a farmer. I'm pretty excited to show you, and it seems to be very unique over here, so it's gonna be a very cool exploration. Let's go over there. Did you lock the car, bro? Yep. Okay. Locked. So peaceful over here in this part of the United States. I must say, I'm a nature person, and these states, these nature states, I love them the most. And exploring over here is just an extra treat for me. The house that we're gonna explore, we found this pathway towards it right now and it leads us there without being seen. We have yesterday, we had a little look inside of the house. It's a very big one, but a lot of Dangerous. Da dangerous very as well. Very dangerous. Yeah, this is one of the most dangerous houses that we are gonna do in the United States. Dangerous in the sense of not of being caught, but the house is just very unstable. The whole kitchen has sunken into the basement. Then he said to me, you're not gonna walk onto the kitchen floor. You're not gonna walk on the kitchen floor. I'm gonna do it. No, you're not. <laughs> we will He's see. not doing it. We will see. Maybe a little bit. Danny, there's the beauty we're gonna film today. Wow, isn't she mesmerizing? I love the outside of this property. Okay, let's quickly cross the road here. See some cars coming there. Okay, probably some cars from the other side as well. We're gonna go through the backyard and then we're gonna go into the basement and then into the house. Does that look like some sort of a barn? Yeah. Maybe this was a place where the former owner used to host his animals, used to it's a very small barn, I would say. And there's also nothing in there, except for some straw. Yeah, you can definitely see that animals were housed in here at some point. It's completely falling apart. Jeez. Let's make our way over to the house. Let's go inside.
little pathway for you. Thank there you, you go. <laughs> I believe we gotta go into the basement here, right? Oh, I'm stuck. Yep, you're stuck, your head is stuck. Not There's thorns <laughs> everywhere. Thorns everywhere. Okay, bro. Okay. I'm in. Whew. You made it inside. Here I am as well. Whoa. Oh, it's immediately very cold here in the basement. You can feel and smell that you're entering an abandoned place. I actually love this basement, Danny. <gasps> That's good. Mud. Mud, yeah, there's literally mud on the ground everywhere. And this over here, what you see, is literally the kitchen above us, completely falling apart. There's literally also no support from the basement. And behind us is the stairway that we're gonna take to the top floor. <laughs> the, the no existing stairway. Yeah. yeah, the half stairway, I would say. Yeah. You can even peek your head through here. <laughs> That's how destroyed it is. Okay, let's start an amazing episode. Danny, come over here, man. I know you're already upstairs, but I still gotta make the climb and I wanna show the people how we sometimes have to enter into these abandoned places. This is literally dangerous to go inside. This place has been abandoned for 22 years right now and a whole stairway over here has collapsed. I'm just gonna use these side beams to make sort of a made up stairway inside of the house. Wow, look at where we're coming inside of. Oh, there's already something that I really adore inside of this house. These are probably the ice skates from Gilbert, or what's the American name? Gilbert. Gilbert. Gilbert, <laughs> yes. I think. Gilbert and Camila, those were the former owners. And the black ones were probably from Gilbert and the white ones were probably from Camila. And there are a lot of lakes around here, like I told you. I'm going to show you run right now. Must have been amazing for them. They just took their skates off the wall, went over to the lake. Gilbert and Camila would be lovely skating over these lakes here in Massachusetts. Absolutely amazing. Oh, the home in my country, in Belgium, we also do ice skating, but where Danny is from. Have you ever ice skated in your life? No. I'm gonna teach you, man. I'm okay. gonna teach you. Next year, we're gonna ice skate together. And here we come into some sort of a little side entrance to the house. There's some stuff left behind here, a piano back there. But let me show you that in a second. There's first one thing I gotta show you over here before we go further. A couple of things I have to navigate myself. But I found this very interesting. Here at the end, we have a sort of food pantry and it's still completely filled with jars. You can see carrots over here, mushrooms, onions, and everything is preserved in here. And the food that's over here still actually looks pretty good. Even though it has been preserved, this one since 1996, it says on the label. Wow, this has been here before I was born. This lily, this jar is from 1990. And I think inside of there are onions. <laughs> Crazy. This is what people did back in the time. They preserved food. They made food for the coming years, for harsh times. Ooh. And even a fridge down here. Okay. Gonna give this back to you, Danny? Yep. Oh my gosh. Oh. I also love this little bucket that's hanging here with the scale and everything. And this is actually a pencil sharper that's on the wall. <laughs> they see this a lot in the United States. There's something else that also piqued my interest. Gilbert, uh, Gilbert and Camila, sorry I'm probably gonna say it wrong 20 more times, but Gilbert and Camila also sold Easter bunnies. Uh, that was probably from the farm that they had. They also farmed. They uh, made bunnies. How do you make bunnies? <laughs> bunnies? How do you call it when you... Uh... I thought it was chocolate bunnies. I don't... Do yeah, but think, they had a Do you think they're real bunnies? Why not? White plus black. White? Oh, maybe they are chocolate bunnies. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like it, right? I thought, yeah, I thought it was chocolate. Yeah. This house was built in the 1900s by Camila, her parents. 
and as you can see all the furnishings the stoves the house itself the woodwork everything in here screams that is more than a century old look at this wonderful stove that we have in here even the tray that you would place in the oven has an intricate design on it absolutely amazing it looks like a fence that you would yeah it looks like on. a fence yeah <laughs> exactly <laughs> i was thinking about that this is an absolute wonderful piece you can see the top of it has unfortunately broken down but still a wonderful stove and there's also a piano in this room as you can see wow this one has seen better times <laughs> i don't think it will play anymore <laughs> a little bit. Let's close this up and let's protect it. Wow. Behind this door is a little patio that we show you at the end of the video. But here you can see the first signs of deterioration. But hold your breath because now we're going to wander into a room and you're not going to believe your eyes. This is the kitchen of the household. And we just showed you in the basement how it completely sunk into the basement. And this is the kitchen from the upstairs. I've never seen anything like this in Europe before. But in the United States, this is very common that after 20 years of abandonment, the whole building starts to cave in and everything is coming with it. You can see the fridge over here. It's falling. The stove right next to it. If you give me the camera, I will go a little bit closer to it. I'll don't be, I will be careful Danny <laughs> Danny doesn't like it when I do stuff like this but I just well, the floor you. is literally going to the basement yeah it, it's it's going to the basement I, I give it like a few more years and then everything is just gonna cave in on itself and fall into that basement I'll slowly go from this side as well and show you I don't even know how this whole structure is just hanging yeah it's crazy there's even a bathroom behind here you can see it's completely in nice condition still the wallpaper and everything still there and even still a towel hanging on the shower but i'm not gonna go in there because as you can see it's just too dangerous there you go bro get it back to you oh, let me try to get out of here safely <laughs> yes <laughs> Here we are. Two sick men filming no. a video. <laughs> we are literally die-hard explorers, Danny. Yeah. In the winter time in Canada, we still explored. When we are sick, we're still exploring. I think we should take a few days of rest after this one. <laughs> yeah. But that's wonderful. Over here on the wall, you can see this is a picture of their three grandchildren. We're going to see it a couple more times throughout the house. But they had two daughters together, Camilla and Gilbert and uh, the two daughters had three grandchildren wow everything is literally falling on the floor what kind of room would this have been it's just like a living area maybe yeah a lounge room yeah lounge room for the family when they came together there's not much to see in here because this is the main kitchen right yeah yeah because there's another kitchen there's a second kitchen indeed but this is the main one here they had dinner together and then maybe afterwards the whole family would be sitting here together in this sort of lounging room there's also still a christmas tree left behind so presumably this place got abandoned camila passed away around christmas time yeah the calendar says january so yeah then yeah. it's definitely uh we're gonna see the calendar in a minute though don't worry snow globe without water still in there no water anymore i think it broke somehow okay let's go into the hallway here we have the front of the house this doesn't open up anymore the stairway that leads us to the upper floors i'm gonna take that up later but also here in the hallway there's a wheelchair left behind it's actually very creepy yeah. seeing that wheelchair standing here at the end the of the hallway. It's very creepy. Camila must have been in a very bad health condition. Probably she uh, wasn't able to move anymore that much. Oh, and there's a can rotten on top of the... A can of food? Uh, I don't know. And I'm not going to touch it. No, no, don't do that. But, but yeah. 
Okay, so a couple more rooms to show you downstairs here before we go to the upper floors. Here we have yet another living space, I would say. A couple of seats. What I love the most is the clothes still hanging there. They look like traditional United States clothes that a farmer lady. How would you say, what, is there a specific name for a farmer lady? No. We have a specific name for that in Dutch. It's called Boerin. A specific name? Yeah, a specific name for the lady of a farmer. Boerin, it's called. Okay. And so, so we have Boer, that's the farmer. Oh yeah, the, the, the male lady. and the female version. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. no, yeah. in English there's only one version. I found that strange. Yeah. So this was her clothes, the, the Bourin, her clothes, I would say then. Wow, I love the style of it. I don't feel like that's clothes for a farming person, but... No, but she was the more church. Lady. Or for the church indeed. And this was uh, Shelbert, his, uh, his jacket. Gilbert, his jacket. Wow. There's probably even more clothes in here. Yeah, come have a look. Oh, these are amazing. Let's put this nicely back. Now we have this lovely room. Two seats. Gilbert and his wife, Camille, would sit together, enjoy themselves. And also here in the corner, we have this lovely sewing machine. Singer sewing machine, a little bit of a newer model, I would say 1970s, 1980s model. But what I love about this one is this packet of needles still lying here. Traditional shape, uh, traditional design, and even it says the price on there, 30 cents. That would be so cheap nowadays. Even the instructions are still on the back. And a new hat for the sewing machine as well as over here. Oh, spider webs covering it already. 20 years of abandonment. All her needles and everything is still in here. I love the packaging of these old products. Look at that. Okay, let's close this beauty up. Ooh. See that I don't get spiderwebs all over me. <laughs> that mirror standing there is quite weird, I would say. Yeah. Somebody maybe it's a went. Big a big stand-up mirror, maybe, maybe to change up in the morning or something like that. Oh, here we have them again, Danny. The grandchildren. Lovely picture. There's no date on there. Together with the telephone and everything still lying here. And even this lovely plate. A home in the wilderness. That's what I would love home far away from people <laughs> yep yep here is that calendar that we were talking about January 1998 I believe it's from yeah just checked it out it's from 1998 indeed from Washington DC you can see the White House on there lovely 1998 was the last date that somebody lived in this place and afterwards it got abandoned forever See a typical farm and clock standing here. You can see a man sitting in a barn. <laughs> That's lovely. And then the Blackstone Valley diary. So somebody, yeah, probably Gilbert, won a prize, maybe with his cattle. As you can see, there's a lovely trophy. And we got another one to that side as well. He was probably very good at his job. And now I welcome you inside the second kitchen of the house. I'm not sure where they used this kitchen for, but what grabs my attention in this one is this completely intact stove. It's the same one as the other one we saw before, but this one has everything still how it used to be. What I like the most about this one is that it has little cupboards at the top of the stove here where you can store things. Oh, here we got a very old advertisement for lawnmowers. $129 for that lawnmower is a steal. But probably this magazine is a couple of decades old. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Look at this stove. It has six stove tops. You would burn it with wood. Oh, oh, 
There's even ashes still falling out of here. Look at that. This is the last ashes that they used to heat the stove with. Oh, so it also opens up. And this side, we have again the oven section of the stove. And it's such a lovely piece. And even a thermometer on there. It's probably Fahrenheit. Glen Glendali. Never heard of that brand before. Wow, that's lovely. And then we have this kitchen over here. And I think they use it some sort of uh, it's a working storage area or maybe as a working kitchen or something like that. There's nothing in the cabinets anymore, unfortunately. I think over here, yeah, there might be some cups and plates and everything still left in there. So they used it for boat purposes, I think. Wow. Then to this side, oh, look behind here, Danny. A wonderful television still left behind. And it looks like they had a television that was made into a vanity of some sort. See the television down there? And up here is sort of this compartment that would host a mirror inside. This piece of furnishing that looks like the top of a vanity. And it looks like it's one piece also. Yeah. That's the strangest part of all. And then of course the ironing board as well in front of it. Okay. I'm sorry, but I'm... Don't you hear that? What? I hear birds. No, I was hearing a, a weird sound. A weird sound? I'm not sure where you're coming yeah, I don't from. Know. Sorry. No worries. <laughs> Sometimes while exploring oh, you... Oh, see, you see? It's... Oh, I know. Okay. Oh, this oh. is here. The scale, yeah, the I was... Hansen scale. I was hearing like a... Uh, okay. Sorry. Sometimes while exploring you get a little bit paranoid, I would say. And yeah, I was looking for sounds and I was hearing that sound. You start hearing sounds, especially when you're alone. And then every single little sound sounds like it's something dangerous big. or yeah. big or something like that. The kitchen drawer is also completely over here. Oh, and here we got a letter. A letter direct to Camille. This one's from 1996, I see on there. See if there's something interesting in there. It's a thank you card. Oh, completely written thank you card from Enrica. Enrica, it says on here. Dear Begin, Begin, and Camille, I thank you very much for the money you have uh, given me. I had a great graduation. I've uh, I've already went to the beach. It was a blast. Oh, so. Probably this is a grandchild and the grandparents gave them some money for their graduation. That's absolutely lovely. Okay, next up everybody. I welcome you to take a stroll up to the upper floors. Even the wallpaper here on the walls is slowly peeling off and letting loose. Signs of DK, it's in my name and I love to see it. It's of course very sad to see these buildings deteriorating, but it also has something beautiful, I would say. It's nature just crumbling away and taking over again. Oh, first maybe this room, Danny. I saw this wonderful dollhouse, probably from the children. Maybe also the grandchildren played with it. There's even still some pieces of furnishings left behind in here. Oh, what's this? Is this tape? No. This looks like some sort of a uh, recording of some sort. See? That's on here. I'm not sure what it is. I think it's burned out. Or, or this I don't know. It's film maybe, right? Probably, I don't know. Yeah. See if there's something on the downstairs floors of this dollhouse. Nah, there's nothing in there. Okay. Quickly want to go into this room as well. I think this was one of the children's rooms. As you can see, it's beautifully uh, with, with the blue wallpaper and everything. But the room in general is a bit trashed. But what, what I want to show you in here is there are some pictures left behind of the former grandchildren and children that used to live in this place. Some memories of, those ta of that time period. Very blurry picture. Back in the time when you took a picture, you only had one shot. Yeah. I didn't shot. know if it was good until you developed yeah. it. And that, uh, that was actually the beauty about photography back then. Exactly. 
I actually miss those old days. I can still remember myself going on the school vacation and my mother gave me this camera and it had 25 shots on it. <laughs> That's the only thing I got. You, get, you had to think about what you made a shot from. And nowadays with our iPhones, you're like, pack, 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 like making pictures of everything. And it has sort of lost its essence. Yeah, yeah, true. Even the bank statements of them are still here. This one's from February 25, 1993 for $113. And it's from Camille. Lovely. Children's books on the ground here from both of us. Dad. Oh, this is sort of a thank you card towards their dad. Mike. What uh, does it Can you read it? No. It's, a bit, uh, it's for Father's Day. Yeah. Oh, even all that clothing and everything, all that papers. All left behind here. Oh, we got a lovely old letter still left here. handwritten letter your wife it says over here we had a birthday party now we have this handwritten letter with a picture with it oh. oh when the child was six months old it says over here wow people one more thing here's another child picture oh, and there's on the back it says a chai lying on the blankets i made her two days That's amazing. They get a little bit emotional from that. Oh my. It's crazy to see everything laying like here, like this here. Even another picture of the child. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> no. I did it just for fun. No. I swear, I didn't know. <laughs> This place has been abandoned for 22 years. And this still works. 24. 24. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's two years more. <laughs> then, of course, this one is also going to work. Yeah. Oh, my God. And the lights, they, they still look pretty new, I would say. The, yeah, they look... They, the, those lights are not from the 90s. It's those crazy. lights are from, like... Do you think six, they maybe seven... changed them out at some point? I don't know. This is this is th those lights are are new because everything in this house seems like it has been abandoned for twenty years, but only the lights they seem pretty new. Yeah, the lights are the only thing new. Here in the middle of the hallway. Okay, sorry, I gotta wrap my hand around that the lights just turned on. <laughs> <laughs> Here in the middle of the hallway, we also have this sort of bench. I already said to Danny that it for me looks like a convention center or a concert hall would have these benches in there. What, what do you think they are? Because they are always separate. They're, they're never together. I'm not sure, but you could open these up and make this into some sort of a seat. Lovely to see. But anyway, I don't know why this is here. Yeah, the cinema and theaters, they, they always need to be separate because mm. if you need to take them out, you yeah. need to take them out one by one. Okay. I don't know. It's just strange to see them here. But then everybody, la crème de la crème, the cream on the pie, this lovely bedroom. And I believe this was the last bedroom where Camille used to sleep because everything from her is still in here. You can see her night robe still hanging there and everything is still in pristine condition. Let's start over here to this side, Danny. Let's show this drawer, this cabinet. See if there's still something in there. The blankets are still in there. Wow, even the dress of her is left behind in here. A lovely white drawer. And also a lot of news articles still left on top. One is from 1985. And I always love to open these up and see what happened in that time period. Soviet US arms series of meetings planned talk giving PayPal, uh, Papal. <laughs> so they're talking about the Soviet times. Wow. Jeez. Okay. What more do we have over here? The picture word. Ah, there's a coloring book from the children. Also still left here. Even her jewelry. Might this be real gold? 
Mm, I don't think so. Me neither, but it could be, right? Could be. And here all our jewelry would be stored. Probably already stolen after 20 years. Oh, there's even still a watch face left behind. Look at this. That's amazing. That. Look at this very unique television that we got over here. Wow, the Olympic television. I love that there's like a glass panel in front of the TV and just the shape and design of it. It's very unique to me. You don't find these in Europe. No, no, very typical for America. And then the record player, masterwork, record player. I'm yeah, I think, I think America is still very vintage in some areas. Yeah, I, I, I just knocked this off. I'm trying to, yeah, I put it back. <laughs> Lovely record player. And even the walking aids for Camila are still here. Probably at the end of her life. She was in a bad health condition and she needed those. Okay. Nothing uh, of interest no. in here, but we still got a beautifully made bed. Everything, the blankets still on there, the pillow still at the top. And her praying beads, of course, for at night she did her prayer before she went to bed. These are actually pretty fancy ones, I would say. Yeah. Love the ironwork, love the crystal in there. Some books at the top of the bed to read something at night, to relax and unwind. That's what I always do when I go to bed. Just read a little bit, then you fall asleep. <sighs> see to this side. Yet again, this ventilator you also see over here. Wow. It's also a pretty vintage one, I would say. Yeah. Love that it's completely made out of iron. And I bet if you put this ventilator back into the power outlet, it will still work. Jeez. Yeah. Uh, Maybe we're going to try it. <laughs> No. <laughs> then he says, no, I got to listen to my boss. <laughs> to my boss. This is again directed to Shannon. Uh, Sharon. Another letter, again from eight, 1985. Ooh. Shells. Shells from the beach. Or from the lakes? No. 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 <laughs> no uh, I'm beach. just guessing. Nope. There's no Maybe. shells in the lakes. Everything is still in here. Oh, watch out, you're bumping against, uh, I think, the box for the sewing machine. Really? Yeah. A group picture, all these people together. Wow. It's amazing, these are my, maybe the grandchildren again. What are these devices? Oh, these are shavers. Oh. Probably everybody's thinking like, wow, Leslie, you don't recognize that. <laughs> <laughs> And then we got this side over here, with yet again a single sewing machine. And this one is a little bit older than the one we saw downstairs. It also has these knobs to the side that, that intrigue me a lot. Oh, here you can choose the style of knitting you want. You can see the styles of knitting on there. So yeah. you choose this E or C and then you can get that complete style of knitting with the machine. But think this box that you just bumped into, Danny. I think it's the box from the sewing machine. And they can transport it somewhere if you want. Yeah, everything is still in there. You put the sewing machine in here. All the threads are also still present. Then you can take it to the job, wherever you got a knit. And then when I was earlier in this bedroom, I found this booklet over here. And this is completely filled with newspapers from back in that time period when Camille and Gilbert, uh, they, they got together. And these are all from the time period when they first got together. 1952, just post-war, when they uh, got married, when they had children, they uh, collected all of these pictures and all of these news articles. And they are all from just the town over here. Quinton's 18 awards diplomas. Here we see a lady that has children. But I'm not sure if this is Camille. No, no that's not Camille. It's just lovely that they collected all of these newspapers in here. Here we got one from the local church. Wow. 
and even still some advertisements and everything is in here all stuck together okay let me try to put this back together nicely but i love when people collect things like this because that those are memories and you're going to look back with uh, at those with great memories and if if you have them then you will be happy for the rest of your life with it okay let's go to the next bedroom the last bedroom of the place gotta watch out there's a wallpaper hanging here but here we come into yet another completely pristine bedroom as you can see bed still made pillow still on top like we always see it when we explore these abandoned places wow even still a doll left behind you and this one looks really creepy, creepy. <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh Just my creepy looks like a photo doll cool we got a lovely upholstery chair underneath it red upholstery do you know what this picture frame is completely blank no would there be a picture in here it looks so oh looks so weird you're okay then yeah i'm sorry yeah we're sick so it's yeah, okay i'm sorry i got a picture this lady up here but i don't think this was one of the inhabitants of the house no. i think it was some sort of a model but i love the picture though limone simone limone simone it says on there maybe she's a famous model or actress or something probably farm side horse riders and the cows and it's painted by tim ward in 1978 also completely empty oh I, lo I love the wallpaper in there though yeah and the ships and everything Lovely painting on the wall. <laughs> Look at this small piano. Or it's organ. an organ. <laughs> yeah, I corrected myself. I'm okay. Somebody in this place, there are a lot of music notes throughout it. Sing we all know Hall Hallelujah. So these are all church songs for the choir. Uh, they were probably practicing on this organ over here before they went to choir together. Maybe Maxime, Sharon, Char Sharon and... Uh, Camille together all went to choir. We even got this box where uh, the guitar used to be in. Or the violin. violin. Violin, excuse I, me. I was, I was hoping it was still there. Yeah, me too. But I expected it to not be there. Yeah. A lovely chest over here as well. The suitcase to travel the world. It was still a dress in there. Wow. And then we got the drawer over here. You can see. There's still some pictures on top of there. I Do think you... that one, Maxime and Sharon, or yeah. vice versa, I don't know, with their with their husbands. Um, yeah. Isn't that just lovely? They're probably both married now. Both live another life. I don't know why they didn't come in here to, to retrieve the few memories that have been left behind, but it seems like they took already took a lot out of the house. Yeah. Uh, because there are not a lot of memories left behind, just a few. Also got this book over here, some writing in there. I don't think this was from the former owners. Oh, and then the forest. This is definitely a forest somewhere around the house. You can see it from the style of the trees and everything. And then, of course, a little working area over here. With again, a Puff sewing machine, not a sewing sewing machine. So they were not loyal to the brand of Singer. But I love Puffs as well. We see them way more in Europe than we see them in the United States. Singers are way more common over here lovely machine everything is still set up to start working again the chair is still in front of it the box of the supplies is still over here and even these big scissors to cut fabric wow singer hem stitcher hem stitcher you know what this box contains oh just oh that's another head for the oh, sewing yeah. machine and then on top of here, we got, again, the pictures of Maxime and Sharon. And this is Maxime, I, I don't know what we'll, we'll to do with Maxime or Sharon, who got married. Oh, and a little blessing to the family.
let's see what we can find over here on this attic. This is actually not the last part that we're going to show you, because outside there are also some cars left and even a boat, but that's for later on. Let's first show you this attic. I've not been up here, just going to have a look around. It doesn't really look that interesting. Normally attics always behold like the dearest memories of the people that they want to store forever. But here on this attic I mostly see tools, a broken down chimney, you can see a little pile of rubble over there and it goes down into the house okay oh and this desk over here as well then let's make our way outside and let's show the people the cars of Camille and Gilbert So we're outside again, just looking if there's nobody over there. I think we're good to go, bro. Okay. Let's climb up here. Thank you. Hey, Danny. Yes. There you go, bro. You good? Need a hand? Yep, I'm good. Okay. Let's make our way to the front of the house. Yes, sir. Okay. There we are. Um, this over here is the complete front of the house. Beautiful building. I love the woodwork on there. Absolutely magnificent. And typical for this area of the United States. But across the road here, there's also a couple of cars that I want to show you. And I think they used to be of the former owner of this place. Gilbert and Camille. Wow, this one is really lovely. Yeah. In between here. Oh, it's only a cabin. Oh. I thought it was a complete car. It's yeah, that, I, I thought like oh. this is too small. There's a cabin of a truck, I think. Yeah, looks like it. Something like that. Maybe from his former business. Yeah. Okay, okay. That's very interesting. But the most interesting part of it all is that one there. There's literally a speedboat left over here. <laughs> Isn't that just insane? Have I ever showed an abandoned speedboat before? I don't think so. Wow, this was Mr. Gilbert, his speedboat. If you give it to me, I'll give a quick glance inside this boat. Wow. Look at the years of DK inside of here. Absolutely insane. Okay, my man. Ooh, I'm stuck in the thorns. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're really stuck. Wait, wait, wait. I'm, Let me I'm help completely you. stuck. Help you? Thank you. Thank you. Ooh, that's exploring, everybody. But wow. There front of the house, gonna thank them both, gonna thank their family. What a fantastic place to explore. Gave a lot away, lovely farming family, and uh, yeah, I absolutely enjoyed the story of this place. I wanna thank you all for watching this week's video. It was an amazing exploration. Please like the video if you liked it, subscribe to the channel if you're new here. There's also a link in the description for Patreon. They can support the channel and help us go around this beautiful world. Bye-bye, everybody. I'll see you next week in another epic exploration. Love you.